Hello, friends, family, neighbors of Grace Lutheran Church of Apple Valley. Welcome to week two of our devotional series during our fall giving initiative, Love Opens Doors. I am Cody Trussell Warren, and I am privileged to be serving as this year's chair of our fall giving initiative. And I am so excited for all of the wonderful stories and the great energy in our congregation as we look forward to 2021. This week's message uh, is Love Opens Doors to Justice. And right now we need to focus only on the things we can't not do. We have already started to engage in the work of racial justice, a natural next step for our congregation that knows how to love bravely. We know the community needs other things from us too. And in 2021, we'd love the opportunity to hire a community organizer to help us engage with the community, build relationships with the community, listen to the community, and help people take action on the things they care about. Can we increase our ability to live out the Spirit's call to love and justice? What if grace becomes the go-to place in Apple Valley for people to engage in anti-racism, and social justice and economic justice work. With that, I invite us to pray together. Dear Lord, please open our eyes and hearts to recognize wherever we see injustice, particularly from a perspective of those who are experiencing it. Give us the courage to act with compassion and love toward those being oppressed. Give us voice to speak out against injustice in bold and loving ways and give us the perseverance and strength to begin to change the causes of injustice. Bring your church together so we can be of one mind and spirit to help us focus on how to begin to do this work in our own community first. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our scripture for this week is from Luke chapter 10, verses 25 through 37, the parable of the Good Samaritan. On one occasion, an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law, he replied. How do you read it? He answered, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do this and you will live. But he wanted to justify himself. So he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? In reply, Jesus said, a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road when he saw the man. He passed by on the other side. So to a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? The expert in the law replied, the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. Our second scripture reading is from Psalm 143, verse 8, which is the theme verse for our fall giving initiative. Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. We so miss being connected with you in person, and we are anxiously awaiting the days when we can open up the doors of Grace, Grace Lutheran for worship again in person. We know, though, that God is opening doors through you and in your home and in our communities, and we value your gifts. We invite you to take some time to pray over these questions and email us your thoughts at loveopensdoors at graceofav.org. We promise to share your uh, responses and provide them to pastors and church leaders for their consideration and guidance. Thank you for taking some time uh, so that we can be better connected with one another. Uh, to get us started, I'm going to share some thoughts I have with a, one of the questions from the reflection and response of this, this week's devotional. Um, what are your prayers for Grace's emerging efforts to bring justice to our community? I think my prayer is simple, 
that uh, God can show us the way to uh, walk humbly, live merciful, mercifully, and do justice. Uh, it is in the DNA of Grace Lutheran Church to do justice. And I pray um, that we have the resources, the listening ears, and the hearts to do the hard work, to love bravely and be out in the community for the community. With that, I invite you to uh, spend your own time with this week's devotional, Love Opens Doors to Justice. Thank you so much for your time, and thank you so much for all that you do for Grace Lutheran Church. Take care.